Okay, it says blah 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 and that's it. Okay, so apparently I didn't read the instructions very well and uh this is the breaker bar. My wife actually is the one who uh somehow figured this out. I didn't like doing it though because if it's really stuck you ruin your part. But basically if you just slam this thing it should come off. Ready? Yeah, that's not gonna work. I hope that was recording. What's up everybody? My name is Russ with rwresearch.com. Today I'm going to actually show you um, my experience with the build tech. So this was sent to me by Abraham. This is his YouTube channel. It's YouTube channel. Abraham, thank you so much for sending me this. He also sent me something else which we'll get to in a later video. This video is about the build tech. So Let's jump right on into it. All right, enjoy. Okay, so I want to put this build tech plate on a piece of glass solely for it. And I think this has actually got a sticky thing on the back and re, uh, remove adhes adhesive liner. So what I'm gonna do is I got my original piece of glass here and uh, this piece of glass is actually the, what's left of the mirror from the back side of a TV, a big screen, uh, older style projection TV. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark this and then I'm going to take the glass scribe and I'm going to scribe this using gloves. I'm then going to break the glass. So we'll see how that works out for me. That's a neat sound. That's how that's done. Not a bad cut. This is the actual reflective mirror side, as you can see. Oh, there you are. Hi. Pretty lighting. Look at that. Eight foot LEDs. You like that? So this is the mirrored side. This is the side with the polished mirror on the back. Usually when you look through a mirror, you look through it this way. But uh, in my case, or in this case, because this is actually a glass from a projector screen, they don't want this double reflection of the glass. So they actually use this surface. Let's cut this one now. Hmm. Well, that did not break down my line. That's better. Okay. I'll accept that. Actually, that might work for another piece. Hmm. Oh wow. Okay. I'm on the wrong side, first of all. Ah well.
So we got five nice pieces of glass to work with. Now, yeah, you do really need to sand the sides down, so I think uh I'm just gonna stick with this one. We'll put the rest of these in a box with the 3D printer stuff and smooth the edges out later. All right, so I have some really fine, I think this is 100 or 250, this will be 200 or 350 grit, uh, tore it off. I'm gonna hit these edges with gloves on, of course. And it's always better to go across the edge, not with the edge. You with the edge, you're just asking for a cut. You gotta go against it like this. Nice. Not sharp at all. That's how you do it. Okay, as you can see, a little dirty. Fair warning, I'm gonna be using acetone and these blue rags dissolve in acetone. Uh, I figured if you just use a tiny little bit, it works okay, you don't need much. Well, whatever that is, is pretty good stuff. See, it's not coming off. Apparently, I'm going to have to find something better. All right, because this glass is glass, not on the actual mirrored side, but the glass side, using a razor blade, I will clean it up because I have no idea what this is on here, but it is not dissolving. So you can scrape up just about anything on glass with a razor blade. Be cautious though, you can scratch the glass. So let me show you how well that you can get stuff off by getting you a better shot of this stuff. Okay, so this is actually like fingerprints and stuff, right? The smudges. And a razor blade will actually take those off as well. That's how good a razor blade can clean this type of surface. So we'll get that nice and clean and then we'll go about polishing it with the uh, acetone. Now we'll give it a little more acetone polishing. This will basically get rid of all of the fingerprints and such. And I uh, could put rubber gloves on but I think we'll be alright as long as this surface is clean. Fair enough, not bad. Now let's go ahead and put the build tech stuff on there. Okay, it says blah, 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 and that's it. Wipe down your build platform, make sure it matches the size. Okay, remove the white adhesive liner and apply build tech sheet to the bare build plate. Oh, so maybe it's actually clear. No, I think it's white. Work away the outer edge, smoothing it with a credit card or applicator. Okay. Let's see what happens. All right. Wasn't so hard. Again, this is the polished, shiny polish side. If I want to uh, clean it, I will, but I'm not too terribly concerned. So now, let's see how this works. Okay, so in case you're wondering, um, I can sort of show you what this uh, bed looks like. So it's just a the regular heated bed, but what I've done here is I've taken a piece of aluminum and I've taped both sides with Kapton tape so it did not short out the heated bed and uh, also so it was a little bit of distance between there 
and the top plate that I'll be adding. So everything uh, in my printer just sort of gets held on with clips. So the aluminum here, you don't want it to go touching these contacts. They're just sat solder points. So I actually use these little uh, clippy doodads. Works fine. And we'll see how it works. Okay, well here we are. I've printed a part. I've taken the glass back off of the printer just so we can kind of look at it and see what it looks like. Um, and so far my experience is that I, I, can, I can't get this off. And that's, that's a real problem. I'm going to see if there's any instructions on how to get this off and then we'll go from there. Okay, so apparently I didn't read the instructions very well and uh, it looks like they don't really want you to, sw to smush in the first layer onto this stuff. It does actually adhere pretty well according to some of my tests trying to find the right layer height. However, I want a perfectly flat glass top finish so that kind of defeats the purpose of what I'm trying to do here. So now we just have to try to get this thing off. So razor blade it is. This is a doll razor blade by the way. Wow. I'm going to try the tapping method. Okay. This is the breaker bar. My wife actually is the one who uh, somehow figured this out. I didn't like doing it though because if it's really stuck you ruin your part. But basically if you just slam this thing it should come off. Ready? Yeah that's not going to work. Uh, it looks like we're going to have to try to cut it. Oh, I just broke the glass. Yep. That's bad. It's ripping it. Uh. Well, that's a bit unfortunate. Good news is, is that it's stuck, but look, it actually... Ugh. Well, it looks like I'll be... I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, this did not work out at all. I guess if I'd have left it barely on there, it'd have been all right. But the thing is, is I'm used to getting it to print really, really flat, and I come off with a nice flat surface and a shiny surface on this glass. So, uh, yeah, that did not work. Okay, well, that's been my experience. Um, I don't know what to say about that. I'm sort of bummed because, well, first of all, I broke the glass. Second of all, I broke the print surface. And uh, I believe this is probably some amazing stuff. But I got it too close because that's what I like to do is get it really flat on the bottom first layer so that it comes off in like a nice shiny fashion because I usually print on glass. With that said, um, I'm going to basically be cutting a piece of this out because it will peel off. You can peel it back off. It does come off. 
and I'll be placing it on the center of a solid piece of glass and I'll be cautious with what I do because honestly this will work perfect for small pieces that I want a very small point to stick to. It sticks really 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 well way better than it does to the glass with the ABS juice on it so all in all I will still be using this I'll just be using a smaller piece of it and uh, I'll watch that I don't do what I did in this video which was start the layer too close to the top all right well I really 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 appreciate this Abraham I really do and uh, thank you so I will uh, I'll be using this in the future videos trust me Peace. Have a good day. Leave a comment if you really want to. Guess you don't have to. If anything, just thumbs down the video because that's more exciting.